November comes once a year. Baseball is over and it's cold. It's a time when men embrace their laziness and apparently women seem to love them for it. We are back with Most Wanted Monday and Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office who seems to be standing just a little bit too far from his razor. Yes. What's going on here? Well, the Sheriff's Office is participating in No Shave November. Um, particularly to raise money. We're doing it to raise money for the American Cancer ah. Association. Deputies that wanted to do it um, were required to make a donation. Right. That's going to be turned over to the American Cancer Society. As After doing that, they, they can go the entire month, and we can try to see if we can grow a beard. Uh -huh. Now, because by policy, we, we, we can't have facial hair except neatly trimmed mustaches. Like, you'd be out of compliance with your mustache. Really? By our, by our uniform regulations. Okay. But So this is the first time I've ever tried to do this. So, so you can ever. have it trimmed ever? Yes, I've ever. never tried to go a whole month like this. So you don't I never have, I've never been able to. So you don't know how much gray is in I it. don't know what it's going to look like. I, well, it's only been a few days. This is going to be an interesting yes, month. Yes, it's going to be an interesting month okay. to see this progression. It's been an interesting week. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Once again, we got five. Five. I mean, this is five this week. I think four last week. Five the week before that. This... I, and we, I can clearly say this is um, definitely, most of these are definitely as a result of people calling the Crime Solvers tip line. Okay, here you go. You can tick these off your list. Uh, take a look here at Larry Davis, Larry James Davis yes. Jr. Yeah, he, he was profiled last week on Halloween, and about an hour after he was profiled, uh, he walked into a uh, police station and surrendered. <laughs> so, <laughs> it works. Sky Waters was also profiled. Sky Waters, we also received a tip on her the same evening, and she was located in Sussex County, Delaware, the next day. And um, she was located just where the tip said she was going to be. Well, actually, we actually ended up getting several tips on Sky Waters. All right, Justin Gosley, looking for him for DWI? Yeah, we were looking for Justin Gosley, and we got a tip through Crime Solvers after we profiled him which said where we could find him at an address right here in Salisbury that we previously did not have. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so Robert Leon Lewis was on the 24th. We did him on the 24th. Yes, he was, he was picked up, and um, he, is, he's, he was wanted in connection with a burglary case. So now he is, um, his warrant was served, too. And you were looking for Thomas Daisy. Thomas Daisy, uh, he was wanted for criminal child support. And the circuit court had issued a no bond warrant from me brought back to Wicomico County. And he was actually, we got a tip on a specific address where Thomas Daisy was in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. And the interesting thing about it was when I Googled the address and Googled the, uh, the street, I was able to see a street view of the, of the, of the residence. It was right on the main street in Chambersburg. Right. And when I, sp when I spun the camera around on my computer, the police station was right across the street. Oh, God. So, I mean... <laughs> I called up there and asked if they could go across, and they did. They went and picked him up for us. That worked out yep, well. And he's sitting in jail in Chambersburg or wherever their county jail is, and we're going, we have to, we'll go up there and, and bring him back and ride back to Wicomico. All right. So, look, if you see your face and name yeah. on here, you might as well just go ahead and come on in because mm -hmm. they're going to come gonna get you. We're going to get you. Gonna come gonna get you. Get All right. You. Let's take a look at uh, this week's Marquis Terrell DeShield. Yes, Marquis DeShield. He is uh, he's wanted on a criminal child support case. Now, we last know him to be here in Salisbury, and the warrant was issued after he did not show up to answer these charges in the circuit court. So we have a circuit court warrant for him. So if anybody knows where Marquis Dashiel is, call Crime Solvers. All right, we'll give you that number here in a second. Catherine Kerry Dimbowski, we've done her before, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we, we profiled her, and, and Catherine and the rest of the ones that we're giving her profile are all going to be repeat profiles. Catherine is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued after she did not show up. After she was, she was arrested for CDS possession, and she was given a court date, and she made the decision not to, not to show up to face the music. So, the judge has issued a uh, bench warrant for mm -hmm. her to get her brought in, so she can have her day in court. All righty, Tori Kashanya Dupont. Tori Dupont. Yes, she is believed to be right here in Salisbury. She is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued after she did not show up for a theft case. So, Tori DuPont, she's wanted for failure to appear for theft. All right, take a look at Chad Edward Harmon, another repeat. Yes, Chad Harmon, uh, we believe him for any of your viewers up in Sussex County, Delaware. Uh, he is last known to be in Millsboro. And again, as we've shown before, we have no, we have no issue bringing him back from Sussex County. And so if you know where he is, let us know. We can bring him back. He is wanted on a violation of probation bench warrant. So he was already convicted of second-degree assault, and he violated the terms of his probation. So now he's going to come back in front of the judge to um, 
explain himself. All right. Don't approach these guys. Make the call. Let, let you yeah, guys yeah, come let, get them. Yeah, let us come get them. All right. Terrence Duvall Heyman. Yes, Terrence Heyman. We believe him to be right here in Salisbury. He was convicted of driving under the influence of alcohol, and he has violated the terms of his probation. So if anybody knows where Terrence Heyman is, please contact Crime Solvers right away. All right. Eric Stephen Wilson. Eric Wilson. Um, we have an address on him in Denton. And we've got some other information that he may have gone down to Virginia, and uh, we profiled him before, and I think he's been he's been arrested before, mm -hmm. and we received tips on him that have led to his arrest. So he is wanted again. If anybody knows where uh, Eric Wilson is currently, please contact Crime Solvers so we can get him brought in. Okay, I'm short on time, but I want to hit the high points real quick. Uh, if, if you're not sure and you want to see the pictures again, we can go to social media. Yeah, social media. Um, I know um, they'll be on your Facebook. I'm sure you're on WBOC's website, right. but they'll also be on, uh, at times, Sheriff's Office, put them on their Facebook. But also Crime Solvers of the Ocean Shore also has a Facebook page, and uh, they've asked me to mention that and try to get some likes for them. And the number to get the money. 410. 548-1776. That's how you get the money. 410-548-1776. And you never have to give your name. Total anonymity. All right. There we go. Lieutenant Robinson, thank you very thank much. Thank you very See much. See we get you another long list next All time right. around. Well, the Delmarva Life uh, website is, of course, delmarvalife.com. Real easy to find, real easy to get to.